Burton Boyd was a talented 16-year-old just embarking on the next phase of a very promising hockey career. He died yesterday after falling to the ice during the early hours of the first day of training camp with the Acadie Bathurst t tag of the Q League. Uh, I'm uh, Jordan's dad, uh, Stephen Boyd. Well, Jordan was just a really, really fun guy. He, uh, he was always, uh, always looking to have fun no matter what he did. And uh, he uh, had a lot of friends and people really liked being around Jordan. So Jordan was my younger cousin. Jordan was about a year and a half younger than me, um, but he was also a close personal friend. Jordan and I um, chased each other around for a lot of years. We became really good friends growing up. We, we hung out a lot. We uh, played all kinds of sports together and uh, we just really enjoyed each other's company. We got along great. Loved hockey and do anything to play hockey every day. You can't talk about Jordan without talking about hockey. Um, you know, obviously later in his life he became a high level athlete, but you know, growing up he couldn't get enough of it, whether it was slashing a ball around on the street or watching the World Juniors on TV. Um, you know, he really lived hockey. Uh, the Jordan Boyd uh, What Was Hockey Challenge and is now Golf Challenge is a started out as a day to uh, remember Jordan and, and play his favorite game, but also to uh, raise money for an important cause, which is to fund research into inherited heart disease at the Kiwi 2 Health Sciences Center. And uh, Jordan also loved golf, so when COVID happened and we couldn't play hockey, we, we switched to golf. And I, I think there's a lot of inspiration we can all take from Jordan and I'm very proud of the work that we've been able to do since his passing to keep his memory alive and try to help people in his name. I just want to thank you guys for making this uh, an incredible journey and for helping us keep Jordan alive in us every day. He's somebody that lived uh, you know, a short life to the fullest. Um, he's somebody that inspired me and inspired a lot of other people um, and what they do to pursue their passions. He showed people how to live life. He never took himself too seriously or, or anybody else. He just lived each day to the fullest and 